October 11, 1890. The air is so crisp on this fine October day, and the scent of the fallen leaves is in the air. As I gaze out the window at our farm, I feel there is no other place I would rather be. Yesterday, I had a visit from my dear friend Elizabeth. Several months ago, she moved to the city and now has her choice of suitors. She kindly invited me to come live with her family so that I too might enjoy such a bounty of choice. Unfortunately, I cannot abide the city, and were I to meet a gentleman there, it is likely where I would spend the balance of my days. I find that I am determined to live life on my own terms, even if it means I shall do so in a solitary manner. I found it when I was hiking. It was in an old farmhouse near Bayside. Oh, it's been a ghost town for decades. I can't find anything online about the house. Oh, and it gets better. I found an old earring in the binding of the journal. Well, maybe a minor mystery. But really, I just want to find out Our local library in town? How did they get a hold? Good morning. Good morning. Can I help you? I'm doing some research, and a friend of mine told me that the library has a collection of the Bayside News Herald. We do. Someone just donated about 2,000 issues dating from 1890 to 1930. Next week, we're sending them out to be digitally converted. Is there any chance I could take a look at a few issues? What period are you researching? Uh, 1890s? 1894. Let me see what I can do for you. Great, thanks. You're welcome. This should get you started. Great, thanks. You're welcome. Are you all right? Can I ask where you got that necklace? Oh, it's actually an old earring. It belonged to my great-grandmother. When she finished school, her parents gave her a set of earrings. She gave this one to my great-grandfather on their wedding day for good luck. He wore it on his watch chain for the rest of his life. We never did find the one that she kept for herself. I think this belongs to you. Where did you find it? Well, that involves a bit of a story. Will you let me share it with you over lunch? I would like that. Great. By the way, I'm Dan. Hannah. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I just can't believe I'm... I have so many questions. I'll do my best. Good morning, Colonel. Good morning, Rose. Colonel? Well, Lieutenant Colonel in the Air Force. Doing what? Pilot. Flying? F-16s. Spider pilot? Yes, ma'am. You're just full of surprises. 
I know I shouldn't have read Hannah's journal, but once I started, there's so much in there I can relate to. I like the way she looked at life. Are you married? No. Hannah was 34 when she got married. That was considered middle age back then. She and my great-grandfather loved each other very much. They had two children and shared 53 years. I am so glad to hear that. Hannah was a remarkable person in many ways. You remind me of her. Will you come visit me again at the library? My squadron's gonna be deployed for three months, but how about we have lunch again when I return? You will be careful flying that jet of yours, won't you? I always am. Are civilians ever allowed to take a ride in one of those fighter jets? Once in a great while, we're allowed to give something we call an incentive ride. Is there any chance you could ever take me for a ride? Or am I too old? Let me see what I can do.